Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw here at Virtuoso Travel Week. And who did I bump into but Amanda Elder, who is the Chief Marketing Officer for Kempinski Hotels and Resorts. And we've interviewed Amanda before, and we're going to get an update on what's going on with Kempinski today. And it's always a lot, and they have beautiful properties all around the world, everything from palaces to more modern structures and resorts. And we're going to talk about just a few of them, that things that are new, and you're going to find out about that and more on Insider Travel report. First of all, Amanda, it's great to see you not on Facebook. Absolutely, <laughs> James. You're in one spot, not cruising. And we're actually together in one spot. It's so a treat. Is, uh, we, both travel, we both travel a lot. But tell us a little bit about, first of all, how many hotels does Kempinski have roughly now? Well, we have just around the 80 hotels and beautiful residences all around the world. Uh, we are represented many countries, but not mainland US just yet. Got to get one there, huh? I know. I know you travel here a lot, so you must be scouting out. <laughs> you know, incredible fact, um, our greatest outbound market to our beautiful properties is the U.S. traveler. Sure. So we're very proud of that, considering we don't have a property. However, it's a good segue to talk about one of the favorites, which has joined us in North America, okay. or at least the Americas, and that is Cancun, Mexico. Well, that's, that's, you just reopened that. It was the former Ritz-Carlton, and now it's the Kempinski. Uh, uh, Cancun and we've actually been down there we've done some stories but you're still uh, you still have that wonderful property there and talk a little bit about where it is now it's about what about a year old now yes so we've taken over September last year 2023 uh, 22 and uh, it's just beautiful I mean the water is green the beach sand is absolutely white yeah. we retained all of the wonderful staff I mean really they're just fantastic people there and they know exactly what they're doing we have perhaps upscaled some of the service elements okay. which Kempinski is known for we've brought in some of the elements that is Europe I mean we are European luxury sure. 126 years of history and we wanted to bring some of that the fantastic beautiful breads some of the items that you might find in Berlin at the Adlon or indeed in Munich so you know some of those things that we have in other Kempinskis we wanted to bring to Cancun Mexico while retaining the essence of what the property is all about right. no that's and uh, my partner was you know my partner Alan has been to do that and hopefully I'll get a chance down there one of these days uh, I will be in Mexico later so we may be uh, seeing it for, for my I'd like to see it for the first time but you have a few other properties that there's some some stuff going on including one of my favorites in Istanbul we'll talk about that one I stayed only one night a couple years ago and uh, Ralph Radke who is the general manager is such a treat he's a wonderful guy and uh, he hosted me and uh, that property which used to be this is the Surigan Palace right? yes yeah. oh look it's just so iconic and we have such wonderful partnerships that whether it be the airlines or the tourism board you know they are always showing the magnificent palace on the Bosphorus to viewers but we have now been able to establish a redesign of this iconic yeah, I heard property. you redone it the last it was two years ago so I got to go back and take a look oh we'd love to have you and Ralph will always sit down for a conversation but it's really going back to the Ottoman history very authentic rich reds and blue blues and greens and we want to bring in that feeling that you have arrived to Istanbul and it's all about Turkey. So we're very proud of the redesign. I think a lot of the travel advisors have been waiting for this news. It's open, it's ready to receive those wonderful customers. Well, and, and Ralph makes a good sultan, so oh. he's, he's just... Uh, yes, <laughs> he is such a sultan and uh, what a host. He has such a fabulous bar culture there and of course a cigar culture too. So best he, of everything. He likes chocolate too, if I remember. Oh, he does. Yes, yes. 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 <laughs> I, I had wonderful dinner on the Bosphorus right there. It is a gorgeous location. It is really one of the most spectacular properties uh, in Istanbul. And I, I just in my brief time there, I, th I recognized how, how special it really is. So, But you got some other ones going on. I think you got a couple other properties you want to talk about, right? We do. I wanted to mention a less perhaps spoken about city, and that is something that I think is very underrated, Dresden in Germany. And I, I which actually have been to that property. Oh. Years ago, years yeah. ago, absolutely, but it's a beautiful, beautiful property. It is. I mean, it's such a historic building in such a historic city, and I wanted to remind viewers, it's really only just over an hour train ride from Berlin. Okay. So I would recommend you couple the Adlon Kempinski in Berlin, take the train, you go and discover Dresden. It's been closed for just about a year. The hotel, yeah. The hotel has been closed, yes, and uh, again, all redesigned, refurbished. It will be of the most magnificent standard, opening queue 
next year. Wow. So perhaps okay. summer, summer vacations I would recommend. Yeah, well, I, I, I saw it a few couple of years ago. Actually, it was before COVID, actually, come to think of it, when uh, I was there for a German uh, travel mark, and uh, we had a, an event there, and it was beautiful then, so I can't imagine uh, what you've done to it now because it, it was spectacular back then. Oh, absolutely. We're very proud of that property. We have wonderful owners mm. that have really worked so closely with us to ensure that this is a bringing back the past, quite yeah. frankly. Yeah. Well, and you have one more you want to talk about, right? I do. We have the most fabulous property in Tel Aviv, the David Kempinski in Tel Aviv. And, you know, in Kempinski, we like to talk about our relationships with our ownership. Our owner there has just given us a remarkable property. We are the custodians of this brand new build. It is on the beach. Everybody talks about the lounge. Everybody talks about the quality of the suites. But beyond that, truthfully, it is the standard of service, which I I'm told is quite new and has been really it's remarkable. It's been hard to find. There's some nice properties in, not so nice properties in Israel always, but uh, to find really great five-star hotels, there are just a few in the country. And it sounds like you got another one now. Absolutely. And Guy Clayman, his team, our general manager, who knows uh, the city very, very well, knows the country very well. He's partnered with Kempinski so beautifully and we're so proud of it. So I would recommend please come and stay with us, send your customers to us. This is really one of a kind property. So this is the David Kempinski, not the King David, which yes. we know, which is the famous one right. in, in Jerusalem, and which I've stayed at before. So I, I got to get over to, uh, once again, another place I got to get back to. I used to travel there quite a lot, but haven't done anything since COVID and just before. Uh, it sounds like a wonderful property and a yeah. good way to, you know, and, and Tel Aviv is such a market marvelous city it's oh. just amazing I'm, I know you you surf around and you check out all these properties I so uh, so she's a little bit she, she's a little hotel snob be careful oh, and, no. and 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 <laughs> you know luckily she has a company that she, she's okay with because it's they're wonderful wonderful properties but I know you visit a lot of properties all around the world I really do I mean I don't well, I want to continue to educate myself you know I think that's so important and I so appreciate the brands I mean we have independent hotels we have the brands but uh, I I do travel around a bit with the Global Hotel Alliance hotels. I know you do. Okay. Um, and, and, you know, we have some wonderful partners there with Capella. Uh, Kempinski is the founding member and also one of the major shareholders of Global Hotel Alliance. Okay. But with uh, some fabulous brands, of course, Minor Group, Pan Pacific, Corinthia. We and know Minor, we know Minor very well. Yeah. And they're, they're an amazing brand with all their other brands. That's the thing. So, you, you know, you get a chance to sample all of these things and come back and say, well, maybe we should do this way. Right? Oh, I do. And I think that we all learn from each other. And we cross-reference each other's right. properties and Kempinski has you know the 80 hotels I mentioned we're not in every city but we feel we have a global hotel alliance partner that is in the city and so our loyal guests they will be looked after when they travel around all of the world that works great, but, you know, but you have I got to say you have fabulous properties I can't tell you a single Kempinski I've ever been in that I, I disliked it, it's always been interesting and they're different they're all different and they all reflect uh, their surroundings their cities that they're in and so you get to see really a lot of the local I mean Istanbul is a prime example of that but uh, even even now you know Cancun was a, a mod thoroughly modern resort uh, and now it's yours and now you're really p turning it into the one the resort you want it to be right? absolutely and uh, look it's it's a lot of work and we cherish the opportunity uh, it's a wonderful property with such a rich history uh, it's always been known to be right. such a strong leisure destination but equally events and incentives uh, weddings so uh, you know we're, we're really just enjoying learning about all the opportunities this property is giving Kempinski and Kempinski to it absolutely well sounds like a lot I, I got to get get on the road again and, yes. and go to these properties I just met some some of uh, some wonderful people from your your team who have uh, Kempinski in Slovenia Kempinski in Croatia I mean it sounds great I have been you know Kempinski's all over the world I've been I've, in Dubai uh, almost, I've, I've toured that one which is the famous one that has you can get a suite overlooking the ski slope which is really spectacular or you can look at the, or look at the pool yes. it's like you, you, you want to go winter you want to go summer it's it's, yeah, it's it's a great property so there's such variety I've been in the Kempinski in uh, Aqaba 
Uh, I believe Jordan, it, 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 Jordan is amazing. Oh, so yes. there isn't really a Kapinski. And well, the other Jordan property on the Dead Sea, which Ishtar. is uh, Ishtar. Ishtar is really famous. I mean, right on the Dead Sea. Go and have your body scrubbed with the authentic mud right in front of the property. I really highly recommend that. Okay. But have you been to Munich? Have you been to the I VA? have not. I almost went when I was going to go to the Passion Play and then I didn't end up going. And uh, I was all set to call you and say, can I get it? But I do have to go to Munich. Uh, I've never been that one. I know we had uh, your jam was here, is yeah, here at Virtuoso. So another, yet another one, one part of the collection I, I don't have. But I mean, boy, I could be doing this for a long time, right? Open invitation. And he'll even lend you a Lederhausen so you can look authentic when you're in Bavaria. <laughs> I'm not sure about that. Uh, I don't know how my, I used to look good in knickers, but that was when I was about 12 years old, but that's another story. Amanda, great to see you here at Virtuoso. Wonderful to hear all about what's going on with Kempinski. And I know there's always so much more and we hope to get to some of your properties very soon. Well, thank you for the opportunity and for all of the listeners, I so appreciate your attention to our wonderful brand. And I do want to sincerely thank you for every booking. It means so much to us. Thank you, James. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report.